The top story this afternoon is the fact that we are now roughly 96 hours away from kickoff in Super Bowl 57. We begin at four with live Team 3 coverage from Arizona. That's right. We're hours away now. We're talking days now. Our CBS Philadelphia Sports Director Don Bell and sports anchor Pat Gallen at the Eagles Hotel. But let's start with Jessica Cartelia live at the NFL Fan Experience. Jess, so what's it like out there in Phoenix today? Guys, it's so good to be here with you. And here in Phoenix, the energy is just awesome. The sun is shining brightly outside. I'm happy because I get to wear green. You know, if you're covering the game from a sports angle, you have to be pretty neutral. I do not. Clearly, we are rooting for the Eagles out here. The NFL experience is a little bit quiet now. They're kind of in between events right now. Earlier today, several local school children were out here as part of NFL's Play 60 campaign, and they were having a blast. The Eagles cheerleaders, cheerleaders from that other team. It was just a really good time. Everyone out here in Phoenix is getting ready for huge crowds. And as you know, guys, with those crowds come security preparations on the ground and in the air. Agents from Customs and Border Protection are flying overhead. They're keeping watch over the home of Super Bowl Sunday. Large events of this magnitude, of course, qualify as a national special security event. So it's heavily secured due to threats, including terrorism. And we know it because there was a lot of security getting into everywhere that we went today. Police actually just walked right behind our shot. The Secretary of Homeland Security says that precautions are planned to ensure that the game is a very safe and secure event, but not due to anything specific. We have no specific credible threat against the Super Bowl. Uh, aviation security, cargo screening, cargo inspection, video surveillance. We deploy our assets to achieve these critical elements of security. And all security officials have the same message to the public. Of course, you've heard it before. If you see something suspicious, you need to say something. Alert law enforcement immediately. 